Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Matarolo. I'm a researcher at the University of Queensland Diamantina Institute. Cancers generally suppress um, the immune response and we're developing a, a vaccine to enable us to overcome this um, cancer-induced suppression um, by re-educating the immune system to, to fight the cancer in different ways. The benefits of immune-based therapies is that um, it provides, has a potential to provide this durable uh, protection against the tumour even after the therapy has ceased, um, which is not possible with a lot of standard treatments. And in addition, there's uh, very minimal toxicity associated with immune-based therapies and therefore less side effects for the, potentially for the patient. Currently we're developing a, a therapeutic vaccine against uh, B-cell lymphoma. Uh, this involves taking the patient's own tumour cells and um, labelling them with uh, a molecule which activates an immune cell population called natural killer T cells, uh, which is a, a very small population in humans but very potent at regulating other immune cells which can, um, killer immune cells which can attack the cancer. So we're currently trying to optimise this, this vaccine approach by combining it with other immune-based therapies um, to try and prolong um, the immune response against the cancer and get, and get better outcomes. And in fact, if we, if we combine it with another antibody-based approach which targets another immune cell population called CD8 T cells, which are very potent at, at, at fighting the cancer, we can achieve over 50% cures. We're extremely grateful for the, the, the funding and support provided by the Leukemia Foundation and supporters uh, really to help drive this, this research forward uh, at a faster rate than otherwise be possible.